today's video, we're going to show you how to stop double post, which is the best play in Madden 24. And we're going to show you a couple of different variations of double post that you're likely to see against an advanced player. Now we're going to be showing you this defense out of the dollar three, two formation. This is out of the multiple defensive playbook. If you guys want to get my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook, join the Patreon. We actually put a massive, massive, basically just revamped the entire dollar three, two defensive ebook in there for you guys. Um, if you guys want to get access to that, that link is down below. It's the best defense in the game. And it actually teaches you principles that you're going to be able to use in any Madden that you play. I believe this is the best defensive ebook that I've ever released. We're continuing to update it for you guys as we continue to find different coverage adjustments, different strategies to be able to slow down offense in this game. And I actually really feel pretty decent on uh, the defensive side of the ball right now. So if you guys want to get access to that, again, the links in the description and Patreon members get access to all of my ebooks. We've released over 15 different even offensive and defensive ebooks so far this season with many up updates to them and more on the way. So if you want to be a member, the link's going to be down below. Coaching adjustments, auto flip defense play call is going to be off. Option defense is going to be on conservative. Really important here. None of your zone drops are going to be set and your zone coverage is going to be on match. From there, you're going to be coming out in the free safety sub package. This is the best way to defend pretty much the majority of formations you're going to be facing. facing. Um, if You don't have to do this, but I do think that it is very helpful to do this. You don't have to do this um, to defend double posts per se, but it is helpful when defending pretty much the totality of the Indianapolis or Philadelphia bunch. The play we're in is covered to press. Again, make sure you're an auto flip off. Okay. All right, so set up for this is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press. That's pretty much the standard. And then we're going to talk about one of the best route combinations in the game. So the way that I would normally set this defense up would look something like this right here. I'd probably blitz my user. You know, maybe we spread the linebacker to give him a little bit more depth. But in general, this is kind of the standard. One of the easiest ways to attack this specific setup is to utilize the double post with the running back wheel, the slot streak, and then the tight end drag route. So you see this is their route combination. And what you're gonna see is this will uh, almost always be able to throw. I actually played it pretty good there. I'm actually kind of shocked. Um, I'll pretty much always be able to throw that route to the left. Now we'll show you a little bit better version of that. Um, and it would look more so something like, like this. This will give us a little bit clearer of a picture and uh, should be a little easier. And I'll talk about the wide side setup in just a second. But in general, something like this, and what you'll see on the left-hand side is, you see how that C route will kind of be wide open on the sideline, especially if I motion that running back into the slot and put him on a streak. This is also um, a very popular concept that people like to use out of the bunch strong offset formation out of the Jets playbook. They'll run corner strike. They'll run double corner to one side, and they'll, they'll actually motion that running back into the flat as a streak and uh, do it, you know, run it like that. Now, another way that people are going to run the same basic principle uh, is they're going to run this wide side setup. And the wide side setup is where you're going to see this. And I'm going to spy just so we can have time to show you the routes. Um, but you're going to see that when we run this wide side setup, this is going to allow the running back wheel to have a little bit more space to be able to clear out the third. So you see he clears out the third and the curl flat. And that is left wide open to the sideline. So unfortunately, this is one of the most difficult things to stop about bunch. I think it's one of the best things that you see from someone that's running gun bunch at a high level. So let's take it first and foremost, let's take it in chunks. So let's first talk about how to stop the running back streak when they motion the running back out on a streak. So how do we stop this setup? Well, it's actually not that complicated. It's just utilizing a cover three match. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up everything exactly the same where we're going to have that outside third defender on the left-hand side. But what's really important is we're going to take that slot corner and we're actually going to put him on a seam flat. By putting him on a seam flat, what that's going to do is he's going to actually match the uh, he's going to match the running back. So we are going to need to, you know, maybe uh, kind of bait from the tight end to the post or, you know, kind of rely on our pressure to create some pressure, right? Because uh, you will see the tight end will get open. But what you'll see is this third will absolutely lurk the C route. The C route is completely taken away uh, with this one little adjustment. And, and it's super, super, super simple. But it, it literally is very similar to a curl flat, except we're just now using a seam flat. Now, what you can do as well is you could drop uh, this this um, slot corner. You could drop him in man coverage on the tight end. What that's going to do is that's going to take away the verticals uh, tight end wheel. And that's also going to take away 
any kind of tight end drag, he'll actually just match or, or he'll basically just take away the tight end, right? So now what we're able to do with our user is we're able to put all of our energy over here on the right-hand side on the slot receiver. So we're going to match that vertical. We'll take the double post. And as you can see, pretty much everything on this play is taken away. Now, the same concept is going to actually help us take away the second route combination that we showed you, which is the running back wheel and the C route. So you're going to see that we're going to go these uh, sequence of adjustments. And we're going to basically do exactly the same thing defensively uh, to stop this. So what you're going to see is this seam flat is going to do a better job of kind of matching onto the running back to take him away. So you see here, he takes away the running back. And then that outside third, because we have deep out zone knockout, he is now able to put a little bit more energy into, uh, into taking away the outside bunch receiver. So the seam flat adjustment is one of the most effective. And then by utilizing the slot corner manned up on the, on the, um, on the tight end, that's now going to take away the tight end. A lot of people actually like to run this route combination like this because most of the time you're not going to have time for this route combination to develop. So they do something like this. We're still going to get the pressure. Obviously, my user would be guarding the post route, and this is absolutely locking down one of the best route combinations in the entire game. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get better at Madden, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks, where we teach you everything that I have learned and everything that I know about Madden in general. Thanks for watching the video, guys. To sign up for the Patreon to become a better Madden player, head down to the description and go click the link down below.